Hello everyone and welcome to another Hubnut mailbag. Uh, we shall see what we've got this time. A great okay. many things. A great many things and some lovely things again. Some really thoughtful things again. Oh. Yeah. And some wish. Yeah. Some wish oh. stuff and also some stuff that will not be in this video. No. Particularly as we've bought the Hublet. So uh, no, that won't be happening. So where do you want we to start? We can't tell you. Do you want to start with the wish or do you want to start with the wish? Next? Let's start with the wish. Oh, okay then, so that's this end of the box. Oh, right. yep, oh, so, uh, oh, rotate, oh, rotate, oh, rotate. Oh, 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 oh. rotate. Okay, there we go. So if you want to pass, it's like. Dig in, children. What have we got? Do you want to open? I'll try and hold the microphone away from the rustling. We're trying to be professional. Uh, pass the puzzle. We've got a ring light and everything. What is oh, this? Yes. It's so. Some beautiful socks. Please bear in mind, I will have gone through these beforehand, so there yes. won't be anything That's really cool, because my school socks are exactly oh the same. They are, exactly oh gosh. <laughs> they are identical. There you go, extra socks well, for school. Go, school socks. Yeah. Fantastic. Come in, come okay. in. Uh, it's your turn. It's your turn to open. There oh, this looks <laughs> suspicious. mask. Is that it? A disposable mask. <laughs> One disposable mask. Okay, if you give me the wrapper. Oh. Well, Thank you for the disposable mask, someone. What does it say? What does it say? Epic 14. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> wish t shirt. Here we go. Wish, wish t shirt number 25. Yeah. Oh, oh it's God, purple. I like this colour. Oh, we've got several of that colour. Yeah, what size is this one? This Large. They all come in large. I think they think we're Rude. all large. But I think that's quite helpful. Okay. Um. What does this one say? <laughs> oh god. Does it say one. beautiful coat? Yeah. Beautiful oh, coat. Beautiful coat. We we we've, we've been stung with beautiful coats before. We have. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful coat. <laughs> oh wow. It's another wish t shirt. Excel. Oh, oh. This is oh. getting ruder. Oh, well, I think that's quite nice because if they send small, that's only going to fit certain is, is amount of people. Is this wish stuff? But if they send large, it's going to fit wish? more people. Yes, that's wish. Oh. There might be several things. Sometimes they send like. Oh yeah. yeah. Bags within bags. A lot of rustling. I apologise if you're getting that. <laughs> okay, so what have you? Oh, it's you've... a small car. Oh, GPS it? HUD. No. It Speedometer. Is, it's like it's... a box that has a car on it. It's but a... what's in the box? Hang on, hang on. Oh, and we got a t-shirt. GPS. That looks like a, a knockoff polo shirt. Oh, I have, I have oh, one. Oh, it's a knockoff Fred Perry. All oh, right. There we yeah. are. Focus. That's a. Uh, it says GPS. Yeah, I think it's a speedometer. And in case you didn't get that, that was a knockoff Fred Perry. So, Do you want me to get it? Um, these things are yeah, useful okay. if your uh, manual speedometer packs up. You can use a GPS one so you know how fast you're going. Guess what's in the next one? Well, I don't yeah, it, it's, a, it's a piece of plastic in a bag. It's more interesting when you actually plug it in. We might try that in something. Yeah, that looks quite good. You can test our speedometers and see how accurate they are. Oh, it's a beautiful coat. Ooh. Oh, beautiful coat. <gasps> Look at this beautiful <laughs> coat. It's amazing. Joseph would be loving this, he all would. the varied colours. Oh my goodness. And these beautiful coats. Serious Joseph coats. Oh, oh, oh. oh, this is the tiniest thing I've ever seen and it's random. <laughs> It's literally a piece of paper. Is it? In there. Let me get it in focus. Okay. <laughs> Let the camera try and focus on that. It's going, what? That isn't worth focusing on. It's a piece of plastic with the word asterisk upon it. Can I have a look at the envelope, please? Yep. What did it do? Uh, it's described as chain. <laughs> okay. No, definitely a piece of paper. It's my turn to pick it, I know. What's this say? Oh, it does it say a beautiful coat? Oh, the Wish t shirt. <laughs> is what it says. It's a green one. Oh, yeah. We have, I don't think we've got so many green ones. No. He likes green. Oh, yeah. Plain. I won't even get to look at that one. Oh, oh. That's four so far. I wonder what this one could be. So that's 28 wish t shirts in total. What does it say? It says a wish. <laughs> and it's another purple wish t-shirt, which is extra large. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So that's 29 just five bizarre. in this video. 
Oh, no. Oh. It could be their way of advertising, but we're not going to tell you what Wish is, so it isn't working. This says Wish T-shirt. Oh, what? When we were going to come to socials and whatnot, we were hoping of having a little stall, you know, with merchandise and things. But actually, oh, we're just going to bring Wish T-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> and then you... We'll have, we'll have a lucky dip and you see what colour you get. Another wish t shirt! So that's wish t shirt number 30. Okay. Oh god. Oh, what could I don't this, think that's a t shirt. What could this be? It might be a tiny t I think what? this is where it all gets a bit random for what the wish t What is that? Uh, now, the description of this, Dev, can you see the description? Windshield wiper repair! Any ideas? You Mr. can repair your windshield wipers with this. Does this look like a windshield wiper? Repair. How, how does that work? It doesn't seem to have come with instructions. Um, I could yes. I thought you would know that. Because, you know, you are the professional. Yeah. The windscreen Happy wipers. Thank you. I mean, who repairs their wipers anyway? If they break, you throw them away. <laughs> Which I admit is pretty wasteful. Not it's usually only the rubber bit. That's now we're going to save the planet. One windscreen wiper at a time. Okay. Super economy. Uh, no, that. No, sticker. Oh, and now this sticker. is an interesting is, sticker. Is, is this one we should be? No, this one's okay. Caution. What? <laughs> this is a sticker. That's very silly. We should give that to Anthony. Yeah. To be fair, they're good fun. <laughs> they are. Do you know? I stop frequently at gay bars. <laughs> this doesn't surprise me at all. Oh, marvelous fun. Okay. Your Next. Turn. Oh, 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 I wonder what this could be. What does it say? It's a wish t-shirt. It's a wish t-shirt. <laughs> so, so we're now into the 30s. That's number 7 of the video, 31. 31 in total wish t-shirt. Oh, look at that. Purple again? <laughs> what size? Small. small. Oh. Oh, oh we're wow. getting smaller. Oh. I stand corrected. That is number... No, that is number 7. No. <laughs> fake white bird. What? 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 Fake white bird. I mean, it is a bird. It's a <gasps> fake white bird. There's two of them. It's a fake. Well, that's it, awesome. It, it is a fake white bird. Is it wrong that I really like those? I They're quite nice, They're going to go on our Christmas tree. Yeah, oh, I think they should. Oh, God. Yeah, but we don't They know weren't lying. It's no. a no, fake that was white like... bird. You can't really see it through I the like front. Those. So there's the beak, and then there's the bird. I quite like those. I like those. Yeah, those are actually yeah. pretty good cool. on the Christmas tree. Yep, yeah, thank you whoever sent us two fake white birds. <laughs> yeah, they're doing this focusing stuff. Yeah. Oh. Absolute natural. Oh, I wonder, I wonder what this... Oh, this might not actually be... It doesn't seem to have a customs label on it, so we've got no clues. Don't get too optimistic. <laughs> oh, you've already been in there. Oh my god, it's packaging! There's so many packages. Oh, wow. Something just fell out. <gasps> a spoon! <laughs> Yeah. A spoon that looks like a shovel. A shovel rainbow spoon. <laughs> oh, I wonder what this could be. Oh, what's this? I like that <gasps> shovel rainbow. It's a cactus toothpick! <laughs> <laughs> it's what everyone needs. Do you want me to show it? Go give it the super zoom treatment. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Maybe you could like there assemble a, a landscape <laughs> with your fake cactus and your fake white birds. Oh yeah, maybe. Oh my and gosh! Fake, and fake, and um, A bag of swan, or geese. It's decapitated! So, oh. Some of them are decapitated. Small decapitated swans. Some of the geese have not made it. They've been decapitated and everything. But oh. they're very sweet. Yeah. I've, oh, I've seen a wish there's like... What could that be? Oh, bless them. Oh, it's really sad. We'll have to do their heads bubble. I've seen on wish there's there these go. kind of like... What um, the... What the what? What? Ton of what? <laughs> oh, oh. Come on, you can't leave the people oh, hanging. You start. There's a ton of like these um, tiny babies <laughs> around oh, on yeah, Wish. Yeah, yeah. Don't and buy I've this. seen a ton of people do like trends on YouTube and TikTok where they're like just putting it around like their university campus and everything. So we could put the heads on this one. We could put them around school. Mm. Yeah. Someone did put babies. I'll, those I'll go, babies around school. We'll do swans. I'll go. Swans I'll go first. No. Oh, it's a beautiful coat. <laughs> Have we opened these? That is number thirty-two yeah. in total. Okay. Number eight of this video. Uh, this one. Oh, something a bit bigger. Oh, it, this one was labelled <laughs> doll. It's a doll. bird. Okay. Oh. It's 
It's a, is it a parrot on a stick? <laughs> it's a parrot! It's a parrot! It's taped! But I think it has ceased oh, to be. Oh, you think it's an ex-parrot? No, it's just pulling in for the fjords. It's a parrot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can I make an entire We can make it's an entire enough. landscape. We could just put the birds around the uh, I think house. He's, oh god, he looks a bit dead with his feet though, look. Can you have a look? Yeah, yeah. He's definitely assumed the position. Yeah. It's a dead parrot. Mm. I rather like that. That was the last wish. Well, that was the last of the wish. Now there is the top one there is for the hublets. Oh Would let's we do that open one. Open that one last. Oh, you want no, to do, we'll do, that we'll do that one now, and oh, then okay. Ian can do some opening. Okay. So okay. let's see. So, yeah, I don't know what this is. Uh. <gasps> oh. Yeah. There is a note in there, and I think this was further to a discussion I had on Twitter. All right. And one of my followers. Yeah, someone likes a Pokemon. <laughs> it's got Amazon.co.uk. No, 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 no. Here we go. So it says. A gift note from Samantha Payne. I'm sure this will get put to good use. In fact, it really will because he's actually just filled his first album. So that is absolutely perfect timing. I'll get some spares sent over soon as well from Sammy. Sammy, thank you ever so much. I know we had a little chat about that and that's really, really kind and absolutely perfect timing for him yeah. to have that. I think he likes it. Yeah. I noticed it says Hublet's plural on the thing, but he's laid claim. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, uh, he hasn't really claimed. No. <laughs> Okay, so oh, just pop the tea over there, can yeah. we? Right. Next. Next one then, Cleo. Should I pass it to Ian? Yes. Well, you, you'll have to take over Mike on audio Morris. duties. Mike Lady, because I'm so good at that. <laughs> oh, what was that? This has got the look of more brochures. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Hello, Ian and family. Hope these brochures find you well and are of interest. More where they came from. Oh no, I need a filing cabinet or six. <laughs> We've yeah. Well, as you've seen, recent times. The unit is in much, much better shape, so oh, it's a Fiat. we'll be able to uh, have these things out, which will be lovely. This is the Fiat Bravo accessories. Oh, Bravo. I might need you to just go and wave this at the camera because I can't get through it anymore. Let's find a nice accessory to show them. Oh, I've got some nice wheels. Oh, yeah. Oh, so what else we nice here? wheels. Oh, I saw the Citroen emblem. I saw Citroen at the back as well. Oh, we got the we got the full Bravo, Bravo brochure as well. Oh, that colour! They're, they're just colour. basically saying you need a Fiat. Apparently, we've got loads of books on the Fiat Bravo. Yep. But then bizarrely, we've got the Isuzu Rodeo. Ah. Can you play closer. Yeah, take that one up. There you are. Oh, oh no. It's one of my least favourite Citroëns of all time. This will upset people. It's the Citroën C3. Uh, the car that was kind of originally meant to look a bit like a 2CV, hence the Kirby roof, but it didn't really pull it off and they're an absolute pig to work on. So I, am, I once helped, tried to help a friend change a headlamp bulb on it and we decided we wouldn't bother. What was it? Uh, through, how, how did you have to It kind of it? removed most of the induction system. Oh gosh. We told them to go to a certain um, motor factors. I don't know. Expressive, they boldly claim. Yeah, not so much. It's funny how the assembly isn't, th it's never thinking about fixing, is it? No. no it's now this is more like it. This is a Citroen Zara Picasso. Uh, I do like these. No, they're kind of ugly. They're not ugly, no, they're lovely. We'd quite like one of those, and a scenic. But oh, no, it's Pablo himself. Wow, oh, I've wow, never seen one what? in that What, there's color. a green one? Bright green. There used to be one that colour around here. It's probably they're mostly it's red, green. blue or silver to start with. But yeah, I think that would be a good practical car for us. Mm. Uh, it's, we're going, we want a Bolingo, don't we? Especially oh, yeah, we, we, we might, dogs now. But that won't have a triangle of doom though. What, the Clap and wipers, whereas oh. the Bolingo, horrific. Okay. Triangle of Doom. Yeah, but overhead storage. Citroen C2. Another one I'm not entirely a fan of. I'm, I just think they're really ugly. So if you think there are cars that Hubnut doesn't like, or you don't think there's cars I don't like, I, I do. <laughs> there's an interesting position. Between two. Yeah. 
a see if we can let Is that a new That's demonstrating the pointless split folding mm -hmm. tailgate. I see. We should see if we should get mum into it. And then we've got oh, more look, Picasso. Picasso. As I say, it's a, a, a very arty booklet uh, on the Zara Picasso. We should see if we could get two of oh, them yes, look at that. just it, like Renan. That's lovely. So thank you for those. And we, like we said, when we've got a bit, now we've got a bit more space, mm -hmm. at least temporarily until you do something with that space. Uh, <laughs> we know what you think, you guys think, either yeah. it's going to be filled with junk or a car in the very near future. Indeed. Until Until that happens we can you can start to do some videos with these brochures and whatnot on a day like today where the weather is very very welsh i'm just gonna have to move because i'm an old man and my legs are hurting <laughs> oh, oh i'll never get up again space shea hubnut is at a premium so we're actually sat on mini miss hubnut's bedroom floor yeah <laughs> filming this video i'm gonna put these on later no. yeah no oh. now i think this is from the same person who sent Oh, no, just hold on, I've got two packages here, haven't I? Oh, yes, they're, oh, yes, they're two, but I think they're from the same person. All oh, right, so it's more brochures. <laughs> How did you guess? Is this another letter? I don't think so. No, okay. But the person from Darlington hasn't actually put their name, have they? Um, Do no, we? I don't think I have. Oh, it's Lewis Hamilton. I'll start the other way around. Oh, Ooh, here's more vehicles I dislike. <laughs> Oh God! The Range Rover Evoque. I've never driven one, to be fair. Maybe they're all right. You're very honest with your fan mail. Yeah. Well, I mean, I like the brochure. Oh, I like that coat. You, you want to go? You're wearing the right top to show that one off. Yeah, I think. she matches it. Yeah. Look, colourful. Yay! Land Rover One Life. I've got here. Ooh, that's very dapper. Why would you wear? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> In case you're wondering why, why would you wear, it's somebody sporting a uh, helmet and a suit, a very yeah. dapper suit. Oh, this is very arty and absolutely nothing to do oh, with cars. This is all... He, he was quite nice. This is, no, no. <laughs> no? No. Okay. This is all very lifestyle. But There's yeah. muscly men in this. And men in suits wearing race helmets. <laughs> yeah. Very, very peculiar. Channeling a dapper daft punk, perhaps. One life. It seems like it's mostly to sell... Watches. Mm, cameras. Yeah. <laughs> Selling the, the dream. Airplane. Yeah. <laughs> very, very lifestyle. So thank you for that. That's interesting. Oh, another one. This has got men in it. Guns. Huntsman. Hunting. Oh, that's great. It's like P.E. Blinders. And then an evoke convertible on the beach. I'll spare you the horror of that. Oh, Hubmut alert. Yes, the small one is barking. Yeah, more, more lifestyle. Um, none of which really seems to involve off-roading. Sad times. Yeah, I don't think Land Rovers are meant for off-roading anymore. Uh, we've got the official Jaguar magazine. Mm. Oh, it's got LWK oh, 707. Lovely. Now, LWK 707 um, lives at the British Motor Museum, I think. I did a bit. Yeah, I did, because it has three windscreen wipers, one of which seems to have been airbrushed out of that photo. Bizarre. Oh, no. What? <laughs> This it car took has out a windscreen wiper. This car has an extra windscreen wiper which has been photoshopped out. Should I show him? Oh, that's yes. horrible. Okay. Why would you do that? I'm going to have to get Quite why LWK 707 has an extra wiper, I don't know, but I think it was just I'm getting even closer for this. So it, I think it was just in case the main wiper packed up. Oh, I see. Yeah. It's this one. Ian's not happy about it. What no, they, they probably can't hear you talking because I've got the microphone What was here. that windscreen wiper we were talking about earlier? And I did the action. Oh, the mono wiper on a Mercedes Benz. <laughs> because there is a Venturi for sale in the UK, one of only six right-hand drive. And that made me go, ooh, in a way. <laughs> 37 grand cars usually don't. But yeah, a Mercedes one mono wiper and Ford Sierra rear lights. I think about 35 grand of that ooh was the windscreen wiper. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is the uh, Mercedes Club oh. magazine. Uh, I think you'll like that one, Nevin. <gasps> Ooh, that one looks nice. I thought you might like that. That's a green M Mercedes of some sort. Oh, Test ladies. dummy Tanya. AMG GTR. Just in Test dummy Tanya. Meet Tanya. Tanya is the nickname Mercedes convertible developers are given to a test dummy used to measure drafts in the wind tunnel. She seems to have makeup oh on. That's a bit scary. Makeup and then weird holes yeah. in her face. I think this would be more furious driving, to be honest, because furious driving, 
runs a, a Mercedes as his um, daily driver for all his filming work, what he does film. Oh, Susie Wolf's in here. Uh, a feature on racing ladies, which they haven't quite made pink, but they have made a sort of lilac colour because obviously you need ladies. to do that to show it's <laughs> ladies. Uh, thank you very much. Okay. Interesting reading material. Right then, guys, can you pass in the next parcel, please? I have no idea what these children are doing. Oh, the second to last. No, there's way more. Oh, God. Oh. I thought that was the last one. Can you guess what this is before? Um, I have not. It's a Matt Haynes manual, I'll tell you that much. Oh, dear. It's a Haynes manual for the PT Cruiser. <laughs> Uh, I think someone may have mistakenly thought I was buying the PT Cruiser. I'm not, it's just a loan. <laughs> but um, the new owner might well appreciate the Haynes Repair Manual. The new owner is a hub nutter. So we're waiting for me. Currently trying to sort some um, rear calipers for it, because the calipers are seized, which is why you haven't seen many videos on it. Um, and then once that's done, it'll be moving to its uh, new home, um, who is Ian. a car mechanics subscriber and hub nutter. Ian, have you tried smacking it with a hammer? No. No, because it's not but our car. The manual that came with the car, I have already got dirty. So the new owner this might appreciate new, having a clean one. In the still in the wrapper. Yes. So that's lovely. That Thank you, wrapper. whoever sent that. Are but yeah, it's a risky it? business buying um, manuals for cars I buy because they, even the ones I actually buy don't stay stay around. But do you know what? Hubnut is a community. So that's if, true. Pa if when the cars pass on, they generally pass on to a hubnutter. So it's nice to pass on what we have with those cars as well. Andrew Thornton. Uh, I sent some items. This way. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's a letter. There's a letter here. <laughs> a result of your tweet in the morning of April the 26th. I don't remember that. Here's another brochure in this envelope. Oh, okay. So the brochure does come out this way. Yes. Gosh, it was a battle to get into this one. Oh, wow. Oh, and there's more of a letter. What is that? That's a Vauxhall Carlton. To Ian, Miss Hubner and family. Now, Ian is a subscriber to the automobile. I thought an original issue, I, in unread one. condition. <laughs> issue one. Ooh, would be of interest. Close free brochures too. Keep up the excellent work. Well, thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Thank so, you. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. December 1982. Oh, crikey. Issue one of the automobile. That uh, was nine months old. Yeah, fantastic magazines. They're going to such depth about um, the proper sort of pre-war classics, really. Yeah, I was only nine months old. <laughs> Paul Skilleter's writing. Paul Skilleter is still going as a, as a writer. Um, I, I once had a passenger ride with Paul Skilleter aboard his Jaguar XK150, which he um, drove in what I could only describe as a frantic manner. It was very exciting. Oh, so, wow, thank you. That would definitely be worth a read. Yes. And then, yeah, we have Vauxhall Carlton. The original Carlton, when it had a front end, which reminds me of some sort of seabird. Vauxhall yeah, present like a, a car seabird. of quality and distinction. This was the first of the Vauxhalls that really owed nothing at all to Vauxhall. I think the no styling was changed very slightly from what European viewers will recognise as an Opal record. That blue is quite lovely. Yeah, it is quite lovely. I want some interior shots because Vauxhalls was, at this time had amazing interiors. There was a beige interior. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, there we go. That's better. Blue velour. <laughs> Marvellous. So that's very lovely. That is nice. All right, we need to move on. I, I fear we are reaching the attention span of these children. No, what, do I like car stuff. Do we want okay. to take a pause? And you two can... No. No, you, you're you happy? I'm not, okay. just not sure what's well, going on here. Okay. Well, how about you sit down nicely with the rest of us? So I'm hiding behind you. <laughs> the new Hilux 4x4 by Toyota. I wonder don't how... I don't know why I said it like that. I wonder Toyota. how indestructible that is. Here, put the ball down. People are watching. Fairly, fairly indestructible. Look, there they are driving it in the sea, just like Top Gear ah, did. I was going to say, is what he's getting at, is this the one that Top Gear destroyed? Yes. I see. Uh, they put it through many trials, including putting it on top of a building and blowing it up. Yeah, but I'm surprised the sea didn't kill it. Yeah, it wouldn't have done it many favours. Because if the sea oh. didn't kill it, then fire can't kill it. Morris vans and pickups. It's the mighty marina. That's a late marina. Oh, wow. So when are we going to get one? <laughs> They're very expensive now. I mean, oh wow, that is yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, the Morris pickups. Pick that yeah, really they're is very rare. Awesome. I should give you a shot of the pickup. There we go. 
lovely. There's a, a postcard in the box there. Oh. Okay. oh, is this from our friend Martin? No. No. We haven't heard from Martin. Oh no. I hope he's okay. Hello Ian and Hubnut crew. As you have a serious wiper passion, I wanted to ask you if you or Miss Hubnut are familiar with a film that is one of my favourites, Traffic with Jacques Tati in his Monsieur Hub Hulot character. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I um, have seen that clip. Uh, involves some very, very high speed driving around Paris in ordinary road cars of the time, albeit very fast ones. Um, so, yeah, apparently um, a, a link was posted to it in the Wiper compilation video. So that's from Robin in Somerset. Uh, nice ah. 2CV postcard. Well, so I have not seen that. that clip. And somebody else, I think it was John Nelson on Twitter this morning, recommended another film. That I need to watch. God, there's loads of things I need to watch, read. Yeah, it's just having the time, <laughs> blimey. You should also watch Taxi, that's a good film. Yes. yes. I think we're all agreed on yeah. that. And we're all about the original We are French talking the version. French one, the Luc Besson one. Yeah. Yeah. I think he actually was involved in the American version as well, but... He shouldn't um, have been. Yeah, the French one is superb. I've got a, a film and, and a bit of cardboard. Definitely I've lost something, something along in the there. way. Oh, here we go. Gaz Volga. Oh wow! Oh wow! Well, These are like technical technical oh. leaflets. Oh, that we're saving that to the last. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. For the um, that you haven't range. seen. No. <laughs> oh look! How they tried making a modern car look, um, well, an old car look modern. <laughs> the Gaz Volgas, the best of Russian engineering, even available in taxi form. Whoa. So I don't know where these would have been handed out originally. But that's very interesting. Yes. I don't know if we've got a letter. It no, but not. it does say oh. from Jamie. Well, thank you, Jamie. They're fascinating. Put those back in that envelope. Um, How are we doing? Letter? <laughs> letter this one is brilliant. This one says, genuine hubnut mug tea stain on the envelope. Oh, well, well done. This is Dave. Well, I've been trying to get rid of this on eBay for years. Your recent purchase may give this head gasket, or this gasket, to the opportunity to be useful one day, if it fits our engine. Uh, interesting, the very different cars it fits. Mm. It is an exhaust gasket. And uh, we have a part number um, 81198 slash 2, Rover 825 and 827, and Nissan Primera. Well, that's all good. <laughs> Um, if the new owner of a Nissan Primera needs um, an exhaust gasket, it's just a circular, circular mm. gasket like that, then, yeah, let me know. Oh, I'm still in touch there? with him. He, he, um, he's, uh, he's on the beige forum with a slightly sweary name. Who bought the Primera? Uh, someone called Spurious on that forum. Oh, Spurious? Oh, yeah. Yeah. you should ask if I did that. I just we, did. We just did that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm planning ahead, mate. Uh, no also, City Rover parts are still available. Oh yeah. <laughs> and maybe forever. What, I'll why? put them in my museum. It's fine. Whoa, there's a lot <laughs> of writing here. Dear Hubnut, been a long time subscriber to your excellent channel. Thank you. Since just before you bought the favourite, that's a while ago now. I can honestly say I really enjoy in brackets nearly all the content you put out. Well I do appreciate <laughs> the honesty. Uh, he's a frequently control you into getting a Vartberg. Yeah, I do need to get a Vartberg. Uh, a friend of mine does own a Vartberg. What's a Vartberg? Um, well, I'm hoping there might be... Is that it? Is it just... Oh, no. There's something else yeah, in there. Yeah. There we go. A Vartberg. Shall right. I have a continuous scrolling you, you, through? You continue going oh, through that. Duty. That is a Vartberg. Whoa! <laughs> do you want to show the camera? Show the camera the Vartberg. Who's ah, the man? Because... It was his dad's first ever car at the age of 54, back in 1974, 1975. Wow. He'd always been a motorbike man. Ah. But he and the Wartburg are now gone, but I thought I'd send you a Polaroid I took of them together while he was building a garage to house that's it. Lovely. So that's, that's lovely. That's what a lovely... Yeah. Yes. So that's a Wartburg night. He loved that night. car so much. As they Aww. were sold in the UK. Yeah, I was just saying that the Wartburgs were sold as the Wartburg night in the UK, but a very rare... Uh, because right hand drive they didn't sell all that many and uh, they, they rusted away no one really cared about them. there's a was, very passionate following for such vehicles it nowadays was his thankfully. dad's first ever car and uh, this is a photo of him when of his dad when he was building a garage for 
mm. that car and he was very very proud of it um unfortunately nick who's the gentleman who wrote the letter as is pretty standard with your parents cars as per me with the book fiat 126 at the time I have a great appreciation now didn't appreciate it oh but it's lovely to see somebody so proud of their motor vehicle and this is from nick yeah he, he says he still hears that two-stroke engine noise in his sleep well i've got some uh, an interesting vehicle coming up it is an unexpected two-stroke vehicle mm. so watch out for that that will be coming soon i hear the fiat 126 in my sleep coming up the school hill they're a bit raw <laughs> yeah. so thank you for that nick that's lovely and then the final one from this box okay ringtons limited oh this has got the feel of food <gasps> or tea Hi. that looks nice these are um what are they noticeably nicer ringtons <laughs> gold tea well i always appreciate a tea offer so thank you very much Ethic they're part of the ethical tea partnership as well now this is a um an invoice but we've got a name of Timothy on here from Australia. Wow. Okay. Well, I suppose that's possible. Well, I yeah, you can buy things. Well, on. I can. Oh, is it like it's a new thing? You can buy things on now. You can buy days. things anywhere in the world. Wow. Uh, so what you would you much. like to do next? This one. Big box. Okay. Big, Big box. box. We're saving that. That's very special. I've, al I've already caught a glimpse of it. I know. And I shouldn't see it. Cannot move. So I'm just going to sit in this corner for the rest of my mortal existence. <laughs> Jeepers. Okay, we may need to have a child. That's a good idea. Yep. <laughs> right. That's the letter. Okay. Oh. To Ian, Carly, and Hublets. Sorry this has taken a while to get hold of with lockdown, but we hope you will think it is worth it, and maybe it is worthy of the future Hubnut Museum. <laughs> the small parcel is from Mrs. Retro Nort to Miss Hubnut. Uh, John's Motors is still trading on the A5 here in North Hans. Although not you guys anymore, is this internet content? He does sell proper old minis. Excellent. And that's from Jimmy Anderson. Not the cricket player, I assume. Uh, A.K.A. the Retro Nort. So, thank you. I'm, I like and the cars Mrs. as well. Retro that, that, incidentally, is the P.O. box should you wish to send us items. So, I assume that's your bag. Do you oh, my go? gosh. Do you want to go first? Uh, yes. Oh, yes. This is amazing. What an amazing item. Wow. Do you want to hold that up to the... Uh, I have to say, when it opens... Ow, ow, sorry. ow, ow, ow. Oh, whoops, jab. Yeah, I've been vaccinated, it hurts. When I opened I this box, a certain teenager was quite taken with this It's got this reliant bag. on it as well. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> so now we know the significance of John's back. motors. That is awesome. Yeah. He wow. wants it back. I will take it back. That, I can't use that, can I? That's amazing. No, you need to keep no, that because that's, that's in lovely um, condition. Full of old packaging. That could be. That, don't yeah, it's just stuff. To... Is it just stuff? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Some of these bags might have interesting things on them. <laughs> Boots. Oh god. Let's feel good. Okay, maybe it's just packaging. <laughs> I think it's just to make oh. the bag look bag shaped. Yeah, stop yeah. it. Yeah. Yes, I think so. Well, that's amazing. That is fantastic, isn't it? And uh, a bit of motivation, because I have been struggling with motivation on you. I'm hoping hey. to have some progress fairly soon on that. Hey, Ian. I'll take over Mike's duties. Oh, thank you. Can Ian. I? Oh, oh, oh. We're editing that out. <laughs> oh, mm. No, that'd be funny. Keep it in. Okay. <laughs> did you sit on your foot by any chance? No. Yes, you did. Ooh, so we got a back here from Vintage Retreat. Ooh, that sounds like somewhere I'd like to be. Mm. <laughs> Are you going to use this as a travel bag? Oh, wow, it's definitely somewhere I want to go. It's got vintage homeware and clothing and whatnot. And yeah. tea! Tea! In Northampton. Ooh. Yeah, we, might, we may have to go on an expedition. Yeah, I get, get the impression Steph of I Drive a Classic would like this yeah. one also. We could gather. Yeah. Oh, that's tea gathering. I don't think that is tea. Is that coffee? Oh, it's a mini turntable. Oh, no. Do you want to show that to the oh. camera? Oh, no, it's a mini record. Surely these can't be mini records. Oh, I'm nervous oh. about opening them. And the rip oh. bit there. Yeah, I know that. Oh, this can't work, can it? Imagine if it does. This well, we need to try it, so we will, we will try it. Like, it actually can't. Huh? Earth. Light your fire. Oh, wow. Little tiny records. We're gonna have to try that. I don't think. That. I don't think it works. 
Yeah, it might, it might not play them. Maybe it does aroma releases or something. It doesn't matter what it does. That's really exciting. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, here we go. We're in. We're in. We're in. We're Is in. it just some bubble wrap? We're in. No. Oh, look. It's a oh, little wow. Welsh dragon. Oh. How cute is that? Oh, I think that's right. vintage. Cam camera assistant. I think that's vintage as well because it's. It looks it, wow. yeah. The glaze is cracked. Now, I collect old china. That is Just right up my street. I love oh, that. Oh, wow. Yeah, but that's actually quite nice looking, and most of the stuff you have isn't. Uh, Oi! Oi! <laughs> you love ugly pots. I do love ugly pots, but that is glorious. Oh, wow. A little Welsh dragon. Oh, that is such a. That is so thoughtful. Thank you very, very, very much. Oh, there's more. No. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Okay. Put him carefully. Right. Are we are we on to the big reveal now? The big reveal. Let me put that safely. All right. Okay. Be careful. Ooh. Okay. Now I open these. I always pre-open like everything, but they're so fragile. I couldn't get them. I didn't want to get them back in the box because I was terrified I was going to break them. But these are these really look extraordinary. special, really, really special. Um, so if I take the mic, you take the box carefully. Okay. Well, let's see if we can flatten this Hugo bag again. Mum, you kind of gave it as a spoiler as you were bringing it down. <laughs> well, yeah, you can probably see a hint of that, but I just need to try and make some space here because I'm all squashed in. <laughs> that, 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 that. I'm going to use this box as a table. For this box? And uh, as a letter, first of all. Uh, dear Mr. and Miss Hudnut, my girlfriend and I made these cardboard mod models for you and your little ones. I know you'll like them. Cardboard. From Kelvin Hendry and Sarah McKay from up in Glasgow. Cardboard? Yeah. I actually thought that was that. Really our child. How clever is that? That is just amazing. That's amazing. It's even got the Hubnut stickers on the window, so I know. be careful with it. I know. Very. Windscreen wipers. Good Very important. Grief. And look who it is. It's Ellie. From cardboard, I just don't know how you, where you would start you with that. that. I don't know. Number plates. Oh. I just made a matchstick house. <laughs> it's even got the netting for the sunscreen that I had when I drove to Croatia. Oh. Those are really, really special. Can't see it because it's the same colour as the seat. It is. Well, yeah, show the underside as well. So thank you very much for that. Hopefully that's the right way up. Yeah, it looks the right way. That is Brilliant. beautiful. The yeah, headlights. Again, the detail. The, the detail. stickers on the window. Oh, look, you've got your little GB sticker on there and everything. Although, it's got the dolly side stripes that Ellie hasn't actually got. Yeah, but should she have those? Have you just not she put should, them back yeah, on? Yeah. Oh. One day, Ellie will have her stripes again. Wait, is it the same number plate? <laughs> it yeah. is, yeah. These, this is Ellie and Tuckleon. Uh, they're extraordinary, so thank you ever oh, so much. Wow. They're absolutely beautiful. Wow. How can you even make those? Yeah. I really don't Maybe know. do a video about how you make yes, these. Yes, please. Because we would definitely watch it. Whoa. But yeah, incredible. Um, can I give you that back? Uh, if Devin holds Ellie, just because we've got one more thing to do. Oh, okay. Which, um, so we got a little email through the Hubner, um, web merch website. Mm -hmm. And it was from a lady called Jane. And, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, now you remember. <laughs> now I remember. And Jane um, was asking if we could do a shout out because on the 29th of May, she's getting married to Matthew. Uh -huh. And Matthew happens to be one of our fans. Um, they've been together for 19 years uh, and they have a 10 year old son called Elliot or mm -hmm. nearly 10 year old son called Elliot. And they met through friends in a, 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 in a pub in Shropshire called the Shropshire Fly. Mm -hmm. And she wanted, offered him a drink and he said no. I know in the beginning. Rude. I know. Um, and then, it's a funny little story here, it says, he always says that I tried to kill him by bashing his head with a cupboard door at my mum and dad's when we were first going out. I would love to f know more about that, guys. Yeah, please explain. <laughs> that would be brilliant. But yes, on the 29th of May, Matthew and Jane are getting married after 19 years together. So they just wanted us to give a little shout out. Congratulations. Llongavachiada, as they say here in Wales. Um, it's just lovely to share yeah, something Yeah, congratulations. Like that. that is later this month. So that means I've got to get this edited and get it out before then. Yes, Ooh. absolutely. Happy yeah. marriage. <laughs> happy marriage, there yes, you go. Very happy. Very profound, yeah. very profound. Well, <laughs> well there yeah, we go. That, that has been, um, yeah, it's nice to give a, a shout out and uh, also nice to um, receive such lovely items. Yes. Where are we going to put these? 
Um, we'll well, have to get rid of some of your horrible pots, I we think. We will oh, not have to get rid of them. No. They're not yeah, horrible. Smash no, no, uh, smash them. We're going to have a domestic off camera now. So we we'll say <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to head to the Hubnut store if you wish to buy items. Um, or you can hit the subscribe button if you wish. You can check out the second channel, Hub Notes, or the third channel. Or oh, the third channel. So on the Miss Hubnut channel, um, we're finding our way at the minute. We're doing sort of reviewing snack boxes. Um, like we had a Portuguese snack box, but the one that we've just done, we did a tour of Newquay um, and all the things that you can eat in Newquay. Some of the things will be very familiar to people. Some of the things might be a little bit strange if you come from elsewhere than Britain. Um, so yeah, if you get a moment, just go and have a little look at that channel as well. So yeah, thank you very much and see you soon. Thank you. Thank Farewell. you very much, guys. Bye. Thank you for all the thoughtful things. Thank Bye. you. Do you want to... Who's doing the patoob? So here is the little record player in Chemin de Charade. This is amazing, it's an air freshener. Watch this! Two. Just trying to do different RPMs. Do you oh. that's like 33? Yeah, I was somewhere close. 45? How cool is that? And it smells lovely as well. Chemin's a bit of a stinker. So do you like it? Very, very much so. Thank you very much. That was Retronaut and Mrs. Retronaut, wasn't it? It was. Thank you. So thank you, Retronauts. I'm just sniffing it. Thank <laughs> you.